Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of multi-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 3.4K in the great state of Texas. And this is item number 5 of the 2017 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work the problem out on your own, and then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So we have a pretty simple problem. This is actually going to be a one-step problem rather than a two-step problem. But you never know when you're going to run into a two-step multiplication or division problem. And our answer is not going to be A, B, C, or D. You notice that there is no answer choices for us to choose from. So it's going to be a gridable response. And so we're going to not only need to find our answer, but we're going to need to figure out how to put our answer into the grid. It looks something like this over here on the right. So we'll look at that in a moment, but we have a very simple problem. So Aaron is going to place 99 tiles on the shelf, nine equal stacks. And so when we see equal stacks or when we see equal groups, those are going to be our keywords that give us a big clue that we are dealing with either multiplication or division. Also this word each typically is what gives us another clue that we're dealing with multiplication and division. But multiplication and division both deal with equal groups, equal stacks, the same number in each group. So we have 99 towels and we have nine equal stacks. So if we want, we can just, let's see, let's just make nine different, we'll say each of these are stacks or each of these are shelves. And I need to split up 99 into each of them. Now, what I don't feel like doing is going by ones. I could, but that's going to take me an awful long time. So I'm just going to start with sets of five. I'm pretty sure I can get sets of five in there. So I'll say five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So 45, I think I can probably do another set of five, and that would get me really close to what I need to do. So let's try another set of five for each. So that's 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90. I'm really close. And think about it. That makes sense. So I've got nine stacks of 10 right now. And I know my 10s, nine stacks of 10, that's going to make 90. So if I need to get 99, well, it looks like I can just add one more to each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if I'm going to add nine, that's going to make 99. So it looks like if I have nine stacks of 10, that's going to make 90. I could do nine stacks of 11, and that's going to make 99. And that makes sense because I just added nine more. So my answer is going to be 11. How many towels are going to be in each stack? Well, the answer is going to be 11. Let's see if I can represent this in a different way. If I wanted to do this, I could say I've got a... Strip diagram here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make my hole up here at the top. I know I've got 99. And I'm going to make 9 equal stacks. That's kind of tough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stacks, break them into thirds, and then break each third into thirds. And that's 3 times 3. That's going to make 9. So I can say 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, and 99. So just like 9 times 11 is 99, I could also do division. 99 divided into 9 equal stacks makes 11. So either of these equations, either multiplication or division, would have helped me here. So how do I make 11? Well, this is place value here. So I need to write 99 in here. Or I need to write 11, excuse me. So I need to write a 1 in the 10s and 1 in the 1s. We're not going to put anything in the 100s place. So you could put a 0 if you want to, but there's really no need. Then there's going to be little bubbles down here. You're going to find the 1 in each, bubble it in, and then that is going to be your answer of 11. 